Hello, 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 Pistoleros! Welcome back to another one, if not your most favorite videos of the whole internet. Yes, I know. And today, guess what? I'm going to talk about the six biggest mistakes people do regarding their nutrition. Yes, this is one of the most important things you can think about in your life because nutrition can influence everything around you including yourself and everything you eat will have an impact a direct impact in our life today i'm not going to talk about these differences about being a meat eater or being a vegan or vegetarian i know i think you know you know my opinion uh, i think you know my opinion which is we basically have this anatomy of having our legs in our lower body this stand up like uh, anatomy, you know, and we have our arms here for a reason and our head here because we were made to hunt. We were made to hunt to run short distances after our preys. That's why we have this anatomy. So I believe we are made to eat everything, meaning meat, fish, eggs, uh, veg vegetables, everything. But I also agree, especially if you are a vegetarian or even a ve vegan, that Nowadays, the food industry is quite, I would say the food is quite adulterated and the production methods are very discussable and honestly, yes, I know that maybe the food we eat nowadays is not the best one and if we are going to think really about what we eat, we, are, we can't eat anything, so yes. But I will leave this discussion for another, another day, another topic. Today I'm going to, to talk about the six biggest mistakes people do. And without further ado, talking about the first one. The first one is basically that fat makes you fat. And that things like cholesterol and uh, saturated fat are the devil, are the, the worst thing you can do. Well, basically this is based on things which were studied many years ago and honestly make absolutely no sense. I would say that this was created mostly, as we know, because of big corporations who, who had some interests, interests. So perhaps back then they wanted to, to, to sell low fat because fat was basically the scapegoat in the food industry. So let's just grab something and put the fat as the enemy. But it's not. Basically, fat is one of the best things you can eat. And even cholesterol and saturated fat should make part make part of your diet. Start talking about cholesterol, for instance, there's a very famous thing which is eggs and egg yolks. You cannot eat the yellow part of the egg. This is complete bullshit. Um, first of all, there are absolutely no studies that say that the eggs yolks will raise our, your LDL which is the, the bad cholesterol. Actually, there are studies who show that it increases, it raises the HDL, so the good cholesterol. Besides that, eggs are very nutritious, have lots of protein. Just think about it. Like Eggs are basically the, the preform of chickens, of birds who are going to, to, to get born. So, eggs are good. You can eat as many eggs as you want. Of course, maybe not... Uh, 10 eggs per day, but if you eat two three per day or two three every two days You are not going to die and it will benefit your your health another thing for instance is saturated uh, fat Many people say it's it's the devil. It's it will kill you. No, it will not. Of course, you should not exaggerate but in any case if you have read my book um, Get in shape the complete plan to get in shape and never get sick. I talk about that. You should eat about 30 grams um, of fat, supposing that your, your fat intake will be around 120 grams. So I'm talking about 25% of saturated fat. And saturated fat can be in such things as red, uh, meats in uh, coconut, coconut oil, even in dairy products. So eat saturated fat, saturated fat, it will not kill you. What, on the other hand, can kill you is a thing called trans fat, and which comes in sodas and candies and all this shit you, you can buy in the supermarket very cheaply. So just avoid trans fat. The rest, don't be dumb. You can eat butter, you can eat some meat, uh, red meat, just do it, okay? 
the second biggest mistake people make is basically to rely on diets. And diets simply mean that you have, you will alternate between states. And for me, that's complete crap. Because when you say you are going to, to start a diet, you are basically saying that you are going to starve, you are going to reduce your, your, your weight, and there will be another phase and we'll go back to, to eating a lot. We, know, we all know how this works. People start to see the sun and, the, and they are going to see the... They, they imagine they are already in the beach in, in one month, so they start to, to starve and to really be on a diet. But this is complete bullshit. I believe that it's more than possible to have a great physique all year long, 365 days per year. So basically, you just need to control and to have a lifestyle. This is the most important. To have a lifestyle which, in which you will eat healthy, in which you will take care of your body, in which you will hit the gym or practice any other sport. But just don't rely on diets. That's why, for instance, I'm going to write an article on this. I complete, despite this idea of bulk and cut, which is eating a lot for, for in a phase in order that you gain all the... the the, the extra mass and, and weight, and you, you train hard, and then you cut, like losing all, all your all burning this fat, and of course, you're going to burn muscle in the whole process. That's the thing. So just skip, ditch this idea of dieting. It will only make you worse. It will create an um, uh, ugly body, because if you think about it, you are building something, you are building muscle, and then suddenly you stop eating. And then you'll have all this accumulated fat, you know, like this skinny fat effect. So please ditch this idea and don't diet. Instead, have a lifestyle which will give you a good physique 365 days per year. Talking about diets, the third biggest mistake people do is to engage in trendy diets, which basically they don't understand. And nowadays, everyone knows about such things as ketogenic diet, intermittent fasting and I would say detox, detoxification. So talking about keto diet, um, this may make, se may make sense if you are a sedentary person. So basically a ketogenic diet is when you reduce your carbs, you don't eat carbs and you instead replace it with fat. So this means that you you obligate your body to consume the fat you have stored in your body and um, since you will not use these uh, carbs as fuel it will make a magic or do the magic of burning more fat than it should well this is a little bit crap especially if you work out i'm saying i'm i can admit that if you don't work out you're a sedentary person which you shouldn't but okay ketogenic diet may have may make sense but if you train, if you are an endurance athlete, if you run, if you play football, if you play soccer, you need this, this uh, uh, glycogen, you know, this glycogen stored in your muscles is the fuel to have to give you more, more power, more performance, more strength. And if you are just cutting that from your diet, you will not have this, your performance will suck, will, will, will drop a lot. So understand when you are following a diet and why. So ketogenic diet is not the best if you want to, to, to gain muscle, you understand? And if you want to, to get lean. Talking about intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting, in my opinion, makes a lot of sense if you are fat and you want to, to lose weight. Because, let's face it, if you are only eating like one third of the day, let's say in eight hours while the other 16 hours you don't eat at all, you are basically reducing this window of eating and of course if you have less time you eat less but it's not good to again to gain muscle for instance it's a good diet i can admit that to lose some weight if you are fat but understand why you are doing it right because one of the things people don't talk about or most people don't talk about is that when you are in intermittent fasting you'll get very anxious and nervous and uh, annoyed, you know, this irritability will, will, will get around you. And it's, it, of course, it can increase your discipline and your, you know, your focus and to be, I'm disciplined, I, I don't want it now. But it will make you more anxious. And it happens a lot as well that when people start eating in this eight hours window, they eat all the shit and they want to compensate because they are starving. So 
you shouldn't be starving. Like I said in point two, for instance, diets, you shouldn't starve. You should eat when it, when you when you when you are hungry, and you should in the other you should do a normal normal cycle. Understand? Of course, you are fat and you want to lose some weight. That's a different scenario. But if you are normal, please don't starve. And for instance, talking about detox, the last uh, point of this of, of the third mistake, detox is another crap. Like drinking these veggies, these greens, whatever. I mean, you have a liver, you have a ki your kidneys, you have all your body is prepared to detox you. So the, the same with intermittent fasting. People say, ah, if, if you stop eating, then your body will cleanse your, itself. No, it will not. You have liver for that, you have kidneys, and if they are not working correctly, go to the doctor because you have a problem, okay? Mistake number four people make regarding the nutrition is, uh, so I talk about keto, is exactly to think that carbs are like not the devil as fat but are still very bad. Uh, carbs is seen nowadays as a very bad thing and I must tell you that's crap. It's not. I am a guy who eats a lot of carbs and you can see I am not fat. You see? That's not magic, that's how our body works. Our body needs glycogen, especially if you exercise a lot, if you hit the gym, you will need carbs. So, the thing is, there is, oh, there are bad carbs and are good carbs. Of course, you are talking about refined sugar and all the crap you eat, made with basically sugar, that's bad. But if you eat high dense foods, like anything, whole grains, if you eat rice, potatoes, that's good. And don't be afraid of these carbs. Just eat them. They are good, especially if you exercise. You need this glycogen to fuel your body. You understand? So don't have this idea that uh, carbs are so bad. It make me fat. They make me fat. No. What makes you fat is that you don't understand food. You don't understand nutrition. You need to understand what you put in your body, and you need to understand that, of course, calories matter a lot. But on the other hand, not all calories are created equal. So if you just sugar and chocolates and crap. Of course, you're going to, to be fat, but it's not the problem of the rice and the potatoes you eat. So please put them in your plate, understand what you are doing, especially if you exercise. Mistake number five, which is not eating enough protein. And regarding protein, there are lots of myths. There's one prevailing, the one which is still prevailing, which is that protein can damage your liver and uh, your kidneys and stuff like this. This has never been proven, first, and second, protein is actually the basis of uh, protein synthesis, which is the basis of muscle, muscle growth. And even if you don't work out so much, protein is the nutrient, the number one nutrient which you should always keep in your diet. Always, always. If you, even if you are, want to lose some weight, please keep your, your protein intake high, because this will keep First of all, it's the most satiating, the most fulfilling nutrient. So you'll be you feel full more more hours per day. So you don't have this uh, temptation temptation to eat shit. And then it will keep your muscle tissue. So if you work out a little bit or if you do some sports, please keep your protein high. And again, it will only make you good. So you can you have lots of sources of, of protein, meat, some beans, uh, whatever, uh, peanuts, even even fat, because. There's a thing, an important thing. There is a food. There isn't any food which you say, okay, this is just carbs, this is just fat, and even inside the fat, for instance, you cannot say that this is 100% monounsaturated fat. This is 100% trans fat. No, the food, food is complex. It's not something which you just put pieces together. Understand this, okay? And six biggest mistake people do or make regarding the nutrition is to think there are superfoods. I admit I was one of these guys that thought, okay, I want this avocado every day and it would make me this, it will increase my testosterone, and this acai, which the Americans say acai, uh, it's a super oxidant fruit which will, which will fight all these uh, radicals, free radicals, and I'll be young forever. No, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. There are no magical supplements, there are no magical um, superfoods, there, there is basically a tendency. There are foods which are healthier than others, but it all relies on your, it all comes down to your lifestyle. And if you have a healthy lifestyle, if you sleep well, if you hit the gym, 
if you eat properly, if you don't only shit like trans fat and lots of chocolates and ice creams and this stuff and uh, frozen pizzas and this, you, you'll reach, you'll have a healthy life, you'll have a great physique and basically don't just rely on magical things, this does not ha happen. I don't care whether it's the keto diet, whether it's intermittent fasting, whether it's acai, whether it's berry, uh, some, some berries, some whatever, some uh, um, kratom or something from the jungle you eat. This is all made to, for the food industry to keep you there, to buy things and for them to earn money. So, as concluding this video, finishing this video, um, these are the six, uh, basically these are the six biggest mistakes people do. So, summing up, uh, I need to review my, my notes now because I lost a little bit. Yes, fat makes you fat, bullshit. Um, to always think, still think about diets, which you shouldn't, because you shouldn't starve, you should have the whole year like this. Third, that um, trendy diets which you don't understand, actually I think you shouldn't follow any of these trendy diets, but still, if you follow them, at least understand them. Fourth, to think that carbs are bad for your health, are the devil, they are not. Five, not to eat enough protein, and six, to believe that there are magical supplements or superfoods which will save your life. No, that's it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you next time.